Hello, good morning. Police are continuing to investigate a stabbing in Stockton. Emergency service. An operation is underway on Teesside to target drivers whose eyesight could make them a danger to others. And maintenance work is continuing today on the northbound Tyne Tunnel, which remains closed. And the organisers of a new marathon in the region say it'll be a permanent fixture. Well, Emma, I'll take you through the weather forecast next and I'll see you soon. Ta-da. Good morning. The mother of a teenage girl who was allegedly murdered in Hexham is raising money to fund bleed kits to save the lives of others. Now, young passengers are set to benefit from cheaper bus fares on Teesside. Elsewhere, rail passengers will face further disruption today as drivers from the Aslef Union continue their strike. And Monet's The Water Lily Pond is to be the central feature of a major new art exhibition at York Art Gallery. Lucy will take you through the weather forecast next and we'll see you here again in an hour's time. ta -da. Hello, good morning. Emergency services are on the scene of a large fire at a commercial premises in Sunderland City Centre. Several roads are closed, including Hendon Close. Anyone living nearby is advised to make sure their windows are closed due to large amounts of smoke. Now, friends of a County Durham man who died by suicide will walk 40 miles this weekend to raise awareness of men's mental health. Former Newcastle United footballer David Shinola is encouraging people to learn CPR. And it's a big weekend for Gateshead FC who are hoping to lift the FA Trophy tomorrow afternoon. And Ross will take you through the weather. We'll be back for our final update in an hour. Ta-da.